Hey everyone, Alex Roy here, your trusted realtor and listing marketing specialist in Eastside Portland, coming to you today from the offices of John L. Scott on Southeast Woodstock Boulevard in Southeast Portland with another market update. Here for the month of December 2017, we're going to be talking about months of inventory in Portland's housing market. All right, like I said, we're talking about months inventory in Portland's housing market today. So before we get going, let's make sure we explain what months of inventory means. Imagine right now that there are all these homes for sale on the market and all the time new homes are coming onto the market. At the same time, there's a bunch of buyers out there that are buying up these homes at a certain rate. Now imagine all of a sudden today, new homes stopped coming onto the market based on the current buyer activity from the previous month or couple months, how fast would all those homes that are on the market right now be purchased? How long would it take to sell them all? That number measured in months is our months of inventory. Thus, and as we can see from these graphics, if the number is low, one to three months of inventory, it is clearly to the seller's advantage. It's a seller's market. If the number is a little bit higher, somewhere four or five months, some even say as high as six months, we consider that a neutral market. It's a great place to be for any sort of realtor, buyers or sellers. And if the number is higher, homes are hanging around longer, that's advantage to the buyer. It's a buyer's market. So where are the numbers for four areas of town, North Portland, Northeast Portland, Southeast Portland, and the Milwaukee down to Gladstone area? Let's take a look at the numbers. And boom, there you go. Look at these numbers. Clearly a seller's market in all four areas as it has been for the last couple of years. The housing market continues to, continues to roll very strong for sellers. 1.1 up in the north, 1.0 actually closer to 0.9 in the northeast, 1.2 in the southeast, and 1.0 down in the Milwaukee to Gladstone area. Very, very strongly tilted towards sellers. So what does this mean if you're thinking of selling a home? You can list that home with confidence. In all of these areas, uh, both the uptick of new listings and the active uh, listing price has been going up and we expect that not to change, but to continue growing on into the spring of 2018. So give me a call, talk to me to, uh, today to start planning for selling the home in the spring at the height of that seller's market. And if you're a buyer, what does this mean for you? It means that you have got to be ready to compete with other buyers out there on the market for very low, relatively low inventory. And one of the best ways to do that is to talk to a lender right away and have your pre-approval letter in hand so that when you find that home that you know is just right for you, you're ready to pull the trigger, put that offer in, knowing that you're already pre-approved for that amount. I'm Alex Roy, trusted realtor and listing marketing specialist for John L. Scott in Eastside Portland, saying have a great day.